Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a video that I'm assuming a few of you aren't going to be too happy about, but please do hear me out, hear my reasoning. But yes, as you can probably tell, I have decided regretfully, genuinely regretfully, it is now time to sell my BMW Z4 and let someone else enjoy it. Uh, and straight away that brings me on really to the real main reason that I've decided to, to now part with this car is because I simply, I do not use it. I, I do not use it. I think this year, uh, we're now in August, I've done all of, but about a thousand miles on the car. And bear in mind, in the previous four years uh, or three years before this year that I've owned the car, I would average somewhere near 20K per year. So that is the main reason I have now decided to sell the car. Now I do realize I've been about as reliable as an old Range Rover um, with my opinion on whether I'm gonna sell the car. I think I did a whole piece maybe a year back saying I will never sell this car and I might track spec it. But bottom line, I just don't use this car um, enough to justify any of that. And I'll be totally frank with you, one of the reasons I don't use the car is because I think I have just stopped enjoying it as much. I'm incredibly spoilt with some of the stuff I get to drive uh, now more so than ever. And my other two cars, I think I've just connected with uh, in a way that has pushed this Z4 to the sidelines. And unfortunately, uh, that's something I couldn't really have anticipated and predicted when making those previous statements about never selling this car. But ultimately, it's the sensible thing to do. Unfortunately, I'm not in a financial position that I can just keep this for longer. I have done for about a year now, kept it basically unused on my driveway. I'm still paying about 800 pounds a year for insurance, 300 odd pounds a year for tax, and not to mention, you know, I've been getting it serviced and repaired in the interims between all of that when things have needed doing so. It is costing quite a lot of money just for the uh, privilege of, of keeping it. And, you know, I can't, I can't afford or justify to do that for any longer. So really sadly, it's time to let this car go. And it is really sad. And the reason being, this was the first car that I ever went out and bought by myself without any help from my parents. And I say that, it's not like I had a brand new car for my parents when I uh, passed my driving test. I had a 1200 pound Vauxhall Corsa, which I paid half of uh, from saving from money working at uh, two jobs actually, a chippy and a nursery. And uh, my parents put up the other 600 pounds for that. And then I'd borrowed some of dad's cars uh, between then and buying this, which I did so by myself. So it was the very first car I bought with my own money solely. And I also started my YouTube channel with this car. And around that time, I had just, and that was April 2017, I just started working with Sam at Seen Through Glass. I'd landed my, a dream job essentially. I was, you know, going around helping him film, did some incredible trips. And I remember he was the first person I sent a photo to um, of this car when I, when, I, when I bought it. And so I have, an unbelievable uh, amount of fond memories with this car. I did my first ever abroad trip using one of my own cars. It was this car. Last year I took it to Germany and the Nürburgring, did autobahn runs. Um, and I've also learned a ton owning this car. Um, I'm still extremely basic when it comes to mechanical knowledge, but I have learned so much about cars through the ownership of this Z4. Um, I've tried to get stuck in as much as possible to learn uh, about these cars specifically, but just cars in general. And what this car has allowed me to do, um, essentially, it's got me where I am today. And so I'm super thankful that I bought this car in the first place. I must also say, and, and genuinely, the uh, people I've met, and I mean really specifically here, Z4 owners, um, that I've met through owning this car, um, it's been an absolute pleasure and um, I've met some some friends for life actually. Uh, ben Rain, who I went on that aforementioned Nürburgring trip. I actually met him because of this car essentially. He had the same car at the time. Um, my friend James Pickering owns a Z4 Coupe. 
I can't remember exactly how, but I think the Z4 had something to do with bringing us together initially. And so I've made some great friends, um, some of you guys as well, of course, watching this video through owning this car. So yeah, so it, but it, you know, it's time to move it on because I don't use the car. It sits there on the driveway, collecting dust, literally getting on by birds. And it's sad to see. And then when I do get in the car, it doesn't, it doesn't make me smile like it used to. And I think, although I said it's partly because I'm getting to drive all these flashy press cars nowadays and I've got two other, other cars of my own, that is definitely one reason. But I do think after having a car for four years or so, you just sort of, I've exploited and explored everything with it and it no longer really interests me and it doesn't scratch an itch to own this car anymore. But what does make me happy out of all of this and what the hope is, and the reason I'm making this video really, um, it's a bit of a basic video I wouldn't normally put out on the channel, but I'm hoping through this video um, that one of you essentially will end up with this car. I'm not giving it away or anything like that. I wish I could, um, but I, uh, I do hope that someone watching um, the channel, a regular viewer or someone that's just come across this video that loves this car, has potentially followed the journey and the story with it, will end up with it. And, and that's why um, I've decided to put it up for auction. Uh, I did initially want to put it up on collecting cars, which is a very commonly known and um, popular auction platform. However, they said it's just not really the right fit for them. Essentially, it's probably a bit too cheap for what they do um, and a little bit old. So I will put it up as an eBay auction starting at zero or whatever the lowest is I can. I'll put a reserve on there, but essentially I'll leave a link in the description to that listing, which will be live uh, now as you're watching this video. So that if you're interested in buying the car, you sort of everyone gets a fair chance. Having said that, if there's, and I know there are people that have asked me before to buy this car. So if there is anyone out there that really, really wants it and wants to contact me directly about buying the car privately, then I'll be open to that as well. But of course, I think with the listing, essentially I'll have to keep going with the listing. Um, but, but do contact me privately uh, via Instagram or my email address below if you are interested in uh, buying the car from me directly. Now, of course, I'll flood that listing with all the details you could possibly need to know. But let me just give you a quick recap in person here to tell you a bit about this car. It's on 160,300 miles, so I'm proudly, you know, one of the highest mileage three liters there is in the country, I suppose. Um, and I'm very proud of that because I bought this car on just over 100,000 miles. So I've covered in the four years that I've owned it over 60,000 miles or thereabouts. And I'm very, very proud of that. Very, very proud. And also proud to say that the car, you know, it still performs incredibly. From the engine perspective, it, it still pulls, pulls like a train, as people say, and wants for nothing. Um, I've obviously looked after the car and spent countless thousands of, of pounds on it, most recently with a, a power steering, electronic power steering motor refurbishment. Uh, that was done very recently. And so the car um, is probably the best it's ever been, which is another reason it's quite sad to let it go. I obviously benefited from having that amazing, essentially thousand pound detail from um, iValet UK. That was probably at the start of this year, actually. But the paintwork is still, um, well, I mean, it, it, it's immaculate, actually. And obviously I had the wheels resprayed Sepang bronze when we did that. And I'm in love with them, actually, the way it looks with the black paintwork. I will, I will really miss looking at this car. In fact, I had it washed earlier and I was just sort of standing there gawping away at the side profile of it because it is a stunning, stunning car and there's nothing quite like it. But of course, it had that. And uh, yeah, I've, I've had it down at RBM countless times for, for work and it does run perfectly. There's a few cosmetic issues with it, of course. Um, the interior is not in bad condition, but you know, there's some obvious wear and tear. But anyway, there'll be a load of photos uh, on the listing where you can, you can look at it. The only mechanical issue actually I know about this car right now is uh, there's a slight oil leak. And today when I took the car out for the first time in about a month, um, obviously the car hadn't 
gone through a heat cycle for a while, so a lot of oil was burning off when the car was static at traffic lights. Um, so there is a slight oil leak that we know about, which I haven't addressed. It'll probably need some new tires at some point as well. Uh, but other than that, right now I can't think of anything, but I'll include everything in the listing. So you might be wondering if there's going to be a replacement to this car. Um, initially, my answer to that is no. There's nothing that I've sort of selling this car for. Essentially, the reason for selling this right now is just to free up some, some capital, as it were, and to put it all in Bitcoin. That's a joke. <laughs> but I am always uh, scouting the classifieds and auction websites and what have you for the next uh, funny purchase. I would quite like to own a 986 Porsche Boxster at some point, uh, but the truth be told, they are kind of silly money at the moment, along with everything, to be honest. Um, which is another reason I'm not selling this sort of as a fixed price, because I genuinely, I don't know what it's worth. I don't really know what it's worth. And I know there are people that will want to buy this, maybe watching this video. So I want, I think, I think an auction is probably the fairest way to go about that. But yeah, in the immediate aftermath of selling this car, no, there will not be uh, a replacement. I mean, I say that, I obviously say a lot of things and I uh, completely change my mind. So uh, it will free up some cash to potentially buy something else, yes. Whether, uh, or, or is there something that I have in mind right now? No, not in particular. So, I don't really know what else uh, to say, to be honest. I, I, do, I do really, <laughs> I apologize, I apologize uh, to those of you that, uh, well, no, you know what, I don't apologize. I don't think I need to apologize for selling this car, but I do, um, I do relate to those of you that have enjoyed the content over the years and uh, were excited to see more with this car because I know that a lot of the content has been maybe not even entertaining, but quite helpful for other Z4 owners out there and I learned, again, like I say, so much through owning this car. And so I'm sorry in that sense that there won't be any more content like that, at least for the foreseeable future. I mean, because that's the thing. Because I'm selling this car doesn't mean I'll never own a Z4 again. In fact, I've always wanted a Z4 M Coupe. So if things keep going well later down the line and I can afford to do that, who knows? Maybe I'll have a Z4 M Coupe and then the content will it be, well, it'll be even better. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's not going to be Z4 content for the foreseeable anyway. But there's a plethora of even better stuff, if you ask me, that's coming out, and I'm really, really excited for the future. But yeah, I will be losing a part of myself with this car because, like I say, it's got all of those memories, and it was the first car for so many things for me, and it always will be. And so, in an ideal world, um, where there wasn't things such as money and rent and uh, conveniences and, and whatnot. I would like to just keep this car and just have it as a, you know, just have it. But I think it's cruel, it's cruel on the car because the car likes to be used and it, it's sad to see it sitting there. And I know that there's so many people out there um, that want a Z4 and potentially would want this one um, as it is a higher mileage one and will be at the lower end of the market. So I'm so, so uh, pleased to offer it up for sale for that reason. If you have any questions um, at all that uh, you want you want to know or that I haven't answered in this video, um, please comment below on the video now. I'll make sure I'm available to answer all of your questions in the comments. Um, of course, follow me on Instagram if you want to send a more direct message to me. You can do that. I'm always responding to you guys there. Um, and give this video a thumbs up. Hopefully, uh, that means that more and more people will see it. It will get suggested. And hopefully those, those, are the, uh, those of you that maybe haven't checked in on the videos for a while will see I've posted something with the Z4 and therefore, you know, might end up with this car. That is genuinely what I hope. And actually, if the new owner is open to it, I would love to film a video um, with them collecting it and potentially uh, a follow-up in six months or a year to see how they're getting on with everything. Because like I say, I don't want to erase this car from my mind and, and it never will it never will because it's always going to be special to me so that's enough uh, waffling thanks guys for watching i'm sorry it's not the most exciting video uh, but it you know it is actually exciting for me because it's a big step for me and it will mean potentially some more exciting things in the future 
and it is just one of those admin things it needs to get out of the way so I can continue to do what I do uh, which is the YouTube stuff so thanks guys for watching like I say comment below if you've got any questions at all there'll be a link to the classified ad or the the auctioned ad for this car on eBay right now and if anything's changed and so there isn't I'll leave a comment so you know what's going on with it so yeah thanks guys so much and I'll see you all very very soon